to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. So in a lot of videos I've talked about trying to be specific with careers that black people could go into that would set them up for life, right? So, I, you know, I'm a Pan-Africanist. I make Pan-Africanist videos and this is one of them. This is intended for a black population in the United States or in any in any civilized country really. But I'm talking about finance. So most careers in finance involve finding effective ways to manage an organization's money in order to create wealth and increase the organization's value. Finance majors prepare for their this career by studying topics about planning, raising funds, making wise investments, and controlling costs according to the college boards. This knowledge sets them up for a wide array of career paths in the areas of corporate finance, financial institutions, and investments. So I'm just going to go over briefly what you should study in order to set yourself up for a finance career. You can come out after you take the certified financial analyst uh, exam, which is very tough. It's three years long, very hard. You can come out making a quarter of a million dollars, point blank. How does that sound to you? Does that sound good? I know people are talking about, oh, the Illuminati and blah, blah, blah. And, and you know, there are old people be like, you don't, you don't need to uh, be in the, the den of the devil. I, but put that aside. I'm a Capricorn. I'm a libertarian. I'm a pan-Africanist. When I tell you something, I'm talking about you and your life and how to set up your life so that you will have an abundant life. I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm not talking about God. I'm not talking about evil. I'm not talking about good. I'm talking about how you as a black man can set yourself up to have a good life. And notice I said black man because a black woman, I don't say that to. Why? For this specific thing, you would not be able to get married. And I believe black women should be married to black men. Hmm? So with that out of the way, let's get to the subject. Mathematics. Courses in college, algebra, and calculus will help students learn how to solve equations in complex financial markets. Statistics help with decision based on the likelihood of various outcomes and allows finance students to learn to reach conclusions about general differences between groups and large batches of information. It also explains the movement of a company's stock. Accounting. Financial and managerial accounting courses teach finance students how to understand, record, and report financial transactions, monitor the company's budgets and performance, and examine the costs of the organization's products and services. Economics. Economics look at how scarce resources are allocated to achieve needs and wants. A course in macroeconomics will teach finance students to understand the impact of financial market activities on the overall economy. Microeconomics will help them understand the behaviors that occur within individual firms and among consumers, as well as how various financial decisions can impact a firm's success. Firm means business. Psychology. Financial professionals need to understand the behaviors and thought processes that help drive the movement in financial markets. A course in critical thinking teaches a financial student to reflect and evaluate an argument and examine situations in all dimensions before applying a solution. This involves understanding what is known about the situation versus what is known. Behavioral finance can help finance students explore why and how the financial markets are, aren't working by examining how investors' behaviors are associated with market anomalies. This subject helps financial professionals determine where investors make mistakes and how to correct them by examining the emotion or thought behind the action. Behavioral psychology helps finance majors look at the observable and cognitive aspects of human behavior with a financial environment. Writing. A course in technical writing will teach students how to put forth strong, clear, and organized ideas, purpose, and explanations in memos, reports, and letters. Communications. A communications course, such as public speaking, helps finance students present financial reports and explain the meaning behind equations and numbers to colleagues in group settings. 
It also helps with the management of people and organizational relations, such as in delegating responsibilities to employees within financial departments. Business students also need courses in cor corporate communications, crisis communications, and PR strategies, according to a 2005 Public Relations Society of America study. It states how financial students' uh, scandals and downturns can affect shareholder support, consumer confidence, and corporate reputation issues. Finance students will benefit from knowing how to handle corporate reputation issues should they arise. And finally, and most importantly, ethics. Corporate scandals such as the Enron scandal, which involved irregular accounting procedures, have also encouraged some business schools such as the University of San Francisco and Loyola University of Chicago to add a course in ethics to their financial curricula. These courses focus on moral development in an attempt to stem future misconduct in business environments. And ethics really helps you not get sued over all of the various practices that people try to do to get ahead of the game. If you will notice, it is the unethical firms or businesses that suffered the most during the 2008 crash. Those businesses who were ethical about their business practice, practices, I'm not talking about that they were good, I'm saying that they were ethical. Ethical and good are two totally different things. They were ethical, they didn't screw over the investors, they didn't screw over the other firms, screwed over everybody they possibly laid eyes on. Those firms who were ethical did not suffer catastrophic collapse of their uh, stock, of their business, of their company. Thank you for watching the Chicama Live Show. And, and please write these down and apply these. I'm going to leave this in the info box if you want to copy it down. Thank you.